Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nikki LaRose. I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And in today's video, I thought it would be so much fun to recreate Kim Kardashian's Met Gala 2022 makeup look. To get started, I'm gonna be prepping my skin and doing all my skin prep on camera. This is something they normally skip because if you watch my tutorials, they're already a little bit on the lengthy side. So as a viewer, I just usually try to skip that so you guys don't have to watch a super long tutorial. But you know what? I get asked to include it all the time. So I'm gonna do it for this tutorial and see how you guys like it. So to start my skin prep, I will be using the Naturium. This is the BHA liquid exfoliator. I use this all the time in my professional makeup kit and I love it. I'm just a big fan of using just toners and liquid exfoliants in general before makeup application because it really just sets the tone and it just helps to smooth your skin and prep it and get it nice and ready for your skincare. And then after that, your makeup to go on top. So that is on and done. And while my skin is damp to the touch, I'm gonna jump into my skin serum. I'll be using the Kate Somerville. It's a retinol plus vitamin C power serum. I always finish or follow my toners with a serum. I know this is something I, I learned from the best. I learned a lot of my skincare from my friend Susan Yara, who's very big on YouTube and has a ton of knowledge when it comes to skincare. And so, you know, I, I don't take any credit for this. I've, I've learned from the best in the biz, so. Doing my serum, that's also gonna keep me nice and young because it's anti-aging. It's got that retinol and vitamin C, which is two of the ingredients that I love for my skin. Keeps me nice and even. And to seal the deal, I'm not going to use a sunscreen because I'm not really gonna leave the house after I do this makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna keep it totally real. If I were to leave the house, I would finish the serum and lock it in with a moisturizing sunscreen to protect my skin. But since I'm not, I'm gonna skip that. And I'm gonna go straight to a cream just to hydrate my skin even more. This is the Youngblood Hydrolux Water Cream. They sent me this, the brand is super nice. They have some amazing natural products and this cream is just really lightweight. So it's gonna lay really nice underneath makeup. Okay, just a little bit of this. Okay, so my skin is completely prepped and now we're gonna jump into makeup. So for this look, I'll be doing my eye makeup first just because I like to get in there and blend and there's some dark shadows going on with this eye makeup look and I wanna make sure that I don't have to worry about fallout on the rest of my face if I do my base first. But one trick is I am going to prep my eyelids with the foundation that I'll be using for this makeup look and I'll be using the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base BBB Cream. It's Beauty Blur Balm. This stuff is amazing. I can't stress how amazing this is enough. I just got this recently and I've been using it almost every single day since I got it. And the way it lays on your skin is flawless, like impeccably flawless. So I'll talk more about it when I actually do the rest of my face with this. But for now, I'm just gonna take a damp beauty sponge. This one's from the Morphe Makeup by Ariel brush set that came with that sponge. So I'll be taking that beauty balm and I'm gonna lightly coat my eyelid And so what I like to do is really take the foundation. Like if I'm doing my eye makeup first and I wanna make sure that my foundation, when I get to it, is going to blend seamlessly with my eye makeup that's already placed first, a great trick is to bring that foundation out. Like as you can see, I'm getting my eyelid completely, but then I'm also bringing it out. I'm bringing it around my temple and I'm bringing it anywhere I'm gonna blend my eyeshadow. And that way, when I do go in with my foundation, there's going to be so much more ease with blending the two together. Okay, so my eye base is almost complete. I'm gonna take a little bit of the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in the shade Custard. Grabbing a MAC 242 brush. This is a really great concealer brush. I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows just a little bit. So I'm basically just drawing a straight line right underneath my brow. This is not a new trick. This is a very old school trick. So I'm sure you've seen this before and I definitely do this a lot on my channel. 
Next on our eyes, I'll be using a cream concealer. This is from Jouer. It's the Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. It's a great like full, full coverage pen concealer. But what I'm gonna use this for is to contour my eye and basically create a shadow and create more depth before I even go in with my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna twist it up a little bit and I'm gonna, I'm gonna deposit a bunch on the top of my hand to warm it up. And then using a 27 brush from Sephora. I love this brush so much. I'm gonna dip my brush into that cream concealer and really work it into the bristles. So it's nice and it's really like pushed into the bristles and it's prepped and it's kind of ready to go. I'm gonna deposit this into my crease. And so looking straight ahead into my mirror, I'm basically just using this to contour my eyes. I'm trying to create a longer eye shape on myself. I'm trying to, trying to get that Kim Kardashian eye shape going. And then just feathering it out. And before I go on with my eyeshadows, I'm gonna grab a little bit of loose powder. I'm gonna switch to a 26 brush from Sephora. This one's a lot fluffier. And it's gonna be the perfect type of brush to just sweep across my eyelid and to set my cream bases that we just applied. Switching to a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And of course, it wouldn't be a Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look if I didn't use something from Makeup by Mario. So we'll be using a couple things, but to start, we'll be using the Master Mattes palette from Makeup by Mario. This is an incredible palette. I've talked about this a couple times. It's just like the ultimate neutral eyeshadow palette. And I'm just gonna dip into, I'm gonna kind of mix a couple of these. I'm gonna mix this top right shade with a touch of this cooler brown shade. And I'm just gonna start to blend this into my crease. Okay, so we are done with that or those two shadows combined. Now I'm gonna switch over to this stunning Tom Ford palette. Switching my brush to one of the Makeup by Ariel collaboration with Morphe um, brushes. This is a great brush for eyeshadow. I'm gonna dip into that like cool taupey shade. And we're just gonna start to layer this and build up that depth in the crease and a little bit on the eyelid itself too. And like I just said earlier, this is not like a super technical eyeshadow look. It's very just well blended and neutral and beautiful. It's not like I'm like cutting a crease over here. It's just very like soft and, and well blended. So don't overthink it. So I just want to point something out. Another reason why I did not do my face makeup first is even with this extreme high quality luxury eyeshadow palette, I'm not talking bad about it at all. I'm just saying with the amount of blending that I'm doing with my brush and the way I'm getting in there and applying it, I can still feel little bits of this eyeshadow drop it on my cheeks. So, you know, it's just another reason to Play it safe and when in doubt, do your eye makeup first, especially if you're going for like, if you're recreating a red carpet Kim Kardashian makeup look, I would suggest doing your eye makeup first, so. So next I'm gonna dip into, I'm gonna start to mix both of these shades. Okay, eyeshadow is done for a second. Now we're gonna move on to eyeliner and of course, Another one of my favorite products from Makeup by Mario is his brown eye pencil. This is called the Perfect Brown and it really is like the perfect brown color pencil. So I'm not gonna create a winged look. Like I said before, this makeup look is very straightforward. It's actually really simple. If you look closely and you break it down, it's a pretty simple look. But I am going to line my top lash line to give me that like, that sultry, smoky look to my lashes. And before I move on to my other eye, I am going to blend it out because like I said, once it does dry down, it doesn't move. So I'm actually gonna smudge it out using a Zueva 226 smudger. These are amazing for smudging out your eyeliners. I love this brush. And I'm gonna use that dark, really rich dark brown in the same palette to smudge this liner out. Okay. 
Okay, now switching to this eye. Grabbing the same brush, start to set this eye, and then just slightly blend it out. Using the same pencil, I am going to tight line my top lash line. Okay, so another thing I noticed with that makeup look is it, it looks like it's almost all matte, but in a couple photos, just a couple, you can see that there is some shimmer on her eyes, but it's like very subtle. So I'm gonna do my best to match that. And I think the best option to start with is going to be using the Chanel cream eyeshadow in the shade Undertone. I love this cream shadow so much. It's so subtle, but it gives you a little hint of shimmer. I'm gonna take a 239 brush from MAC and I'm just gonna lightly pat this onto the inner part of the eyelid. And we're gonna leave it be for a minute. We're gonna move on to some mascara and then lashes. I'll be using the Lash Clash Mascara from YSL and we're gonna do a really light coat because we're gonna do quite a bit of lashes and I don't want this mascara and my lashes to get in the way of that application. So I'm just gonna do a nice little coat, keep it light. So now moving on to lashes, I'll be using these and it's kind of hard for me to describe these but they're, they're basically like a faux mink cluster. I thought these looked so beautiful and I thought they'd be really fitting for this look. So we're going to start with these guys using the Ardell Lash Grip Brush On Lash Adhesive. I love this one. Okay, so my lashes are on. So now I'm going to move on to our foundation. I'm going to go back to our one size BBB cream and I'll be using a Real Techniques. I think it's a 208 brush or a 206 brush. The, the number is rubbed off. And anyway, I'll be using this brush to work in that foundation. And you can see too, like this foundation, it's, it's like a satiny, but semi matte finish. And it just, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but in person, this foundation is just stunning. Like it just makes your skin look ridiculously flawless. It's so pretty on. I'm, I have been just loving this foundation since I got it. Now we're going to contour and I'm going to go back to that same Jouer high coverage essential essential high coverage concealer pen. And this is in the shade coffee. So I'm just using a darker shade of concealer to contour my face. And I love, I love using concealers actually to contour. It's one of my favorite things. It's one of my, my favorite tricks that I use professionally as a makeup artist. Okay. So normally I don't directly apply cream products to my skin, but since I already warmed this up on the top of my hand earlier when I use it for my eyeshadow, you can see it's like very creamy now and it's very, it's, it's just warmed up and it's ready to go. So I'm not gonna have a hard time or struggle with the blending process. So I'll be using a round tapered powder brush. This one's from Profusion. This was in a set and I use this from my drugstore makeup tutorial in case you recognize it or if you don't recognize it, it's linked in that video. So I'm gonna start to stipple this into my skin. This is the only part of a makeup application, like when I'm doing my clients or if I'm doing this on myself, this is the only part of a makeup application where I actually, my arm feels tired. Like I feel like I have to like, like go like this and take a break. It's the oddest thing because it's like instant for me. I don't know if it's like the motion or how high up my arm has to be to do this, but. <laughs> so, you know, it wouldn't be a Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial if I didn't contour the heck out of my face. So that's pretty much what we're doing. We're bronzing and contouring at the same time. And we're getting that classic or we're trying to get that classic Kim K Mario makeup look. 
which, you know, he really like, he obviously didn't invent contouring. He didn't, you know, he, he's not the first one to contour, obviously, but I feel like contouring wasn't big for a while. Like it, it was big when it started, right? Like Kevin Aquan pioneered contouring and it's Kevin Aquan. Yeah, Kevin Aquan. And then there was a time where like it just kind of fell off the map and like people didn't really talk about it and they, they didn't really like focus on it and it wasn't like a big trend or you just didn't see it that often, right? And then I really do feel like he brought it back, like in a sense, like he brought it back to trend, if that makes sense. Like he um, reintroduced people and opened their eyes to contouring and like the beauty of it and how much impact it can have and like what a huge difference it can make on your obviously obviously your features because you're contouring them you're chiseling them and you're bringing them out but also just what how beautiful it looks when when done right and he's always done it right he's always done such a beautiful job contouring so if you know me you know that i like to have um my cheeks just a little bit higher than they typically should be i guess so i'm going to bring this higher up than is what, what's traditional with contouring. So I'm gonna bring this on top of my actual cheekbone. Cause I want that, you know, Kim K sculpted, like really sculpted, high, beautiful cheekbone kind of look that I don't naturally have. So we're gonna fake it. Same brush. I'm gonna to work to really press this into my skin. Another reason why I love using concealers, like cream concealers or liquid concealers even, but especially cream concealers like that Jouer formula, is since they're concealers, they have, they're very pigmented. So they have a lot of, they have coverage, obviously, because they're a concealer. They're meant to cover pimples or dark circles and all those things. And so when you're blending them out, they just, they're so seamless. Like you can't see through them. They don't get patchy. And I think that's a problem with uh, like a lot of contour sticks and cream contour products or contour liquids, whatever the formula is. They can be kind of patchy once you're starting to blend them out because they don't have a lot of like coverage to them. So when you're blending them out, depending on like what technique you're using, if you're too aggressive or you're, you're buffing it too much, they can look really, really patchy. So if you struggle with that, and then also at the same time, you don't mind having that additional coverage of using a concealer for this type of look, then I highly suggest you use a concealer, like a cream concealer to contour. I wanna bring it here. I'm gonna try not to push it too far up onto like my actual jawline. I'm gonna try to keep it tucked just underneath. So it's like, it's trying to creep up, but it's, it's not, it's just underneath my jaw. So I guess this is the only time that I would ever suggest you blend downward instead of upward. I'm gonna grab my foundation brush that already has like, you know, that tiny bit of foundation on it. I'm just going to erase just a little bit of that contour that went too, too far into the center of my face. So I'm gonna go back to that same 27 blending brush from uh, Sephora. And I'm gonna dip into the concealer. So using that, that little bit of cream contour that we had placed earlier when we did that initial um, definition in our crease, I'm gonna use this as a guide. And so I'm gonna start it right where it ends. So. And then with whatever's left over, I'm gonna just swipe it just above the tip of my nose. I'm going to move on to concealer. So I'll be using Toffee from NARS. It's a radiant creamy concealer. I love this formula. And I'm gonna use a 227 soft definer from Zueva. And I'm gonna to start to line this concealer up on the side of my nose, which is going to enhance that contour that we placed earlier. And it's also gonna help to further contour my nose. Cause like right now we're playing with shadows basically. We're, we're brightening the areas that are not contoured. So when they stand against the areas that are contoured, it's even more impactful. To finish my highlight, I'll be using a lighter color and concealer. This is Macadamia. It's also from NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. 
and I'll be using this to highlight the bridge of my nose and just a little bit more in our inner part of our eye. Looking straight ahead, I'm going to draw a straight line down my nose, or I'm going to try to draw a straight line down my nose. And then taking more of that concealer, I'm going to highlight further this little inner part of my forehead between my brows. So while my concealer dries down just a little bit more and self sets before I go in with powder and set it, I'm going to finish the tail of my brow and elongate my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. Okay, so now I have to clean these up just a little more. Better to go thicker with your brows, especially if you're gonna if you know you're gonna clean them up anyway and like carve them out, because you can always clean up and you know make them thinner as you go. Okay, we've finally reached the point of this tutorial where I'm going to blend out my under eye concealer and actually start to set it. And then we're in the home stretch, so. Using the same Sephora 26 brush, I'll be dipping into the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number one, the lightest shade. And I'm not taking a ton of it. It's kind of a, it's, it's slightly on the thicker side, so you don't need a lot of this powder. And I'm using the lightest shade because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm not dimming down that highlight that we placed with the concealers. And I'm going to set the side of my nose where I have that highlight as well. I'm going to set the top of my chin. All the areas that I highlighted with the concealers, like the NARS concealers, I'm going to use this color in the powder to set. And then we're going to take a little bit and sweep it underneath our contour. Now I'm going to switch to, and this is going to be excessive, I know, but you know, it is, like I said, it's a Kim Kardashian makeup look. You wouldn't expect it to be like a minimal product makeup tutorial, so bear with me. I'm going to switch to the number two in the setting, same setting powder from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to start to layer the number two powder to set the rest of my face. So I'm going to work this onto just lightly on my cheek. So now I'm going to bake our highlighted areas. So I'll be using one of my favorite powders. It's from One Size Beauty. It's the Translucent Loose Powder. Take a good amount on my powder puff. And I'm gonna first start to bring this along the side of my nose. I'll be baking my face with the Makeup Forever uh, Powder Puff. This one came with their loose powders. I'm not gonna bake all the way, but I am gonna bring this on this little outer portion of my eye. We're gonna bring it, we're gonna cut our contour with it. Like I said, like what would be the point of doing this Kim Kardashian makeup inspired tutorial if we didn't like go for it? the center of our forehead. And I'm gonna use that same 242 for MAC. I'm gonna dip into the last bit of that powder that I popped out. So while that's baking and, and doing its job, I'm gonna go back to that Jouer concealer in coffee. And I'm gonna switch to a 230 Lux pencil brush from Zueva. And we're gonna start to contour our lips. So starting underneath, I'm gonna create more of a shadow just underneath my bottom lip. So I'm gonna bring this into my Cupid's bow. I'm 
and then up and around my lip. And now we're gonna move on to lip liner. I'll be using the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. This is like a $4 lip liner, and this is at least my second one. I've had, the, I've been using this color for a long time. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've always called it NYX, like in my head and out loud, but some people call it NYX. I actually don't know if it's NYX or NYX. So if you know, please tell me, because I've been walking around calling it NYX for my entire makeup career. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. I probably am wrong because most of the times I will always butcher names and I'll mispronounce things, so let me know. But anyway, this is new to Truffle. So I chose this lip liner because I thought it had that same nude but almost mauve undertone. From what I've seen in the pictures, that's, that's what I translated her her makeup look or her lip liner to look like i thought it was more like a a nude with a mauve undertone to it so i think that lip liner is so pretty so perfect for that and for lipstick i'm not gonna lie i think it's gonna be a challenge because i have so many options but all my options most of my options that i think are fitting for this look are deep potted and what i mean by that is they're like this they're in a huge palette and the reason why I, Mine are like this because I'm a professional makeup artist and it's not convenient to lug around, believe it or not, it's not convenient to lug around hundreds of lipsticks. So most of my top ones that I use are depotted in a case so I can easily just scoop it out, apply it, be done. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you the inside of this palette because it's just not pretty, but I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna start with more of like a pink nude. I think it has more of like a pinky, like mauve undertone to it, but obviously it's a nude. I'm gonna start with Huda Beauty. I'm gonna use the color Girls Trip. And this is a matte lipstick. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see together if this gives us the, we're gonna see together if this gives us that same Kim Kardashian Met Gala lipstick vibe, so. Okay, so we're gonna finish our bottom lash line finally. I'm gonna take that same Makeup by Mario, the perfect brown pencil. I'm going to just do a little bit on my bottom lash line, but in the outer corner. And I'm gonna switch over to another uh, Makeup by Ariel collaboration brush with Morphe. This is in that same set I'm always talking about. Just gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna take all the same Tom Ford eyeshadow colors that we use on our eyelid and I'm gonna bring them down on the bottom lash line. So starting with this taupey, cool toned brown. Same brush, I'm gonna dip into that next shade on the top right, which is a much warmer shade. It's got some like red undertones to it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that And I left that baking powder under my eye while I did this for this exact reason because like I said, that this shadow does have some fallout. And now, same brush. We're gonna dip into that last deep dark brown shade. And I feel like her Met Gala eye makeup was really smoky on the bottom. Like she had a lot of drama on the bottom lash line. Grab that Makeup by Mario pencil one more time. Okay, so sadly, the one thing I didn't have as far as like makeup colors and products goes for this tutorial is I had just recently run out of both my like light skin tone waterline eyeliners. Like I don't have that to complete this look. And if you really look closely at those eye makeup, at her eye makeup in the photos, she definitely has a lighter waterline color, like a skin tone, almost a concealer color waterline eyeliner on the bottom lash line and I don't have that. So so one thing I'm missing, I, and I didn't have time to go out and get one, so I'm sorry, but it's not gonna be completely perfect and it's gonna drive me crazy, but oh well. So I'm gonna grab another Makeup by Ariel collaboration brush with Morphe. I'm gonna dip into the last bit of my loose powder from one size and I'm gonna use that to dust off that baking powder. 
And the reason why I grabbed a little extra powder is because that's gonna help to erase that fallout that's on our cheek or that's on my cheek. And just really pick it up and sweep it off. Okay, so we'll dust this off. Dust that off, dust this off. Make sure you do like dust off all your baking powder before you do your last coat of mascara because you, the last thing you want is dusty lashes, like dusty with eyeshadow or powder. We're gonna go back to mascara. We're gonna do our last coat of mascara on the top and the bottom lash line. And I'm making sure not to get the ends of my cluster lashes that I applied. I don't love the look of tons of mascara on the ends of lashes. I like to focus it more on the root. Okay, so now we're going to set our cream contour. Bear with me, I know, it's a lot of steps. Like I said, this this makeup tutorial is not for the faint of heart and it's not for the, the natural makeup lover. If you don't love full glam, I know you're not gonna be into this and I'm so sorry, but like I said, I hope you still enjoy it and watch it because it's still fun to watch a full on glam makeup look and tutorial, in my opinion. I hope you agree. Anyway, my husband says to stop rambling. So I'm gonna set my cream contour with the NARS Laguna Matte Bronzer using another Makeup by Ariel collaboration brush with Morphe. And we're just gonna use this to set that cream contour. Now to give my skin a little bit of glow because like I said earlier, a long time ago at this point, in the beginning of this tutorial, this makeup look is, in my opinion, like from what, it's, what I see, it's very matte. It's matte across the board, except for a little bit of shimmer on the eyes. So, but I should say, but there is still a little, like a little hint of glow on her cheeks. So for that, I'm gonna use a really natural glowy product. I'll be using the Hourglass Cosmetics um, ambient lighting palette. This is the original trio of colors, which so is like the lightest shades. I'm gonna use this top shade right here and a little bit of this guy and just blend the two together. So I'm gonna dust this on the very top of my cheek. Just add a little spotlight to the top of my cheekbone. I'm gonna pop it on the top of my chin. And I'm also going to hit the very very top of my forehead. I'm gonna lightly highlight the top of my nose and the very tip of my nose. And then one more trick with this palette, I'm gonna switch to another pencil brush. This one's from MAC, it's so old, I can't even tell you. I think I've had this for like at least 10 years. It's a 219 brush. I'm gonna dip into those same two lightest shades from this palette and I'm gonna use this to Highlight my tear duct, but not really the in, like not the inside of my tear duct, but more of like the outer portion of my tear duct. And the reason why is because if I bring this too close in, it's gonna actually make my eyes look smaller. So by bringing it further out and almost on the side of my tear duct, I'm giving the illusion of a longer eye. And then I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit that's left over. Moving on to blush, we made it. We made it to blush. And this was another part of her makeup look that really tripped me up because I couldn't tell if it was more pink or more peach. To me, it looked more like a peachy blush. So please let me know in the comments, like if you look at the pictures of her Met Gala makeup look, let me know what you think it looks like. I thought it looked more peachy. I'm gonna start with the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is her Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder in the color Caring Coral. I'm gonna use a little bit of this to start. And I'm gonna use the same bronzer brush that I just used. So what I should point out is I'm using a deeper shade blush first, and then I'm gonna layer it with a lighter shade blush. And again, I know, don't hate me. I know it's excessive. I'm using two blushes. And I totally get it, that's really annoying. I get it. But, for the sake of this look, I'm really trying my best to match it as close as possible. So that is why I'm cocktailing it. So now I'm gonna go over it with the same formula from Huda Beauty Glowish. I'm gonna use the Healthy Peach color. 
And I'm gonna switch to a MAC 168 brush. Depending on what photos you see online of this makeup look, her blush either looked really peachy and kind of dramatic, like it looked like she had a lot of blush on, which was so pretty. And then other photos, it's a little more understated and you know, it's not as, it's not as um, bright, I guess. My husband and I both agree that my lip is not quite, it's not, it's not there yet. It's close, but it's not quite there. So I just dipped into the shade Heartthrob from Buxom Cosmetics. This is a beautiful, even lighter, more slightly more the pink side, nude. And I just think it should be a little more nude in the center. You know, at the end of the day, if you can't have fun with makeup and you can't like enjoy it for what it is, like it's fun, makeup is fun. It's not so serious. You wouldn't be here if you didn't think it was fun, right? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was fun. Okay, so that's more nude. I think that looks much better. All right, so we're gonna set our makeup. We reached that point and I'm gonna use my favorite setting spray. This is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray from Hourglass. I'll let that soak in. So here's the finished look. This is my Kim Kardashian Met Gala 2022 Inspired Glam done originally by the incredible Makeup by Mario. I had so much fun recreating this look for you guys. It's all the things I love about makeup and it's such a great reminder to have fun with makeup because at the end of the day, makeup is not serious. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be a mood booster, if anything. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this whole process. I know it's a lot of products. It's a lot of steps. It's a lot of everything. I totally get it. It's a long one, but Hopefully it was an entertaining one. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You could also follow me on Instagram. I'm at makeup by Nikki LaRose where you'll see tons of other makeup tutorials and I will see you guys next time. Bye.